morning, Robert here. Um, I decided to put me in a new toilet and a new sink. Now, I already put the toilet in. This is a new uh, Thetford, Thetford um, Aqua Clean or Aqua Magic, something like that. And it's got the foot pedal uh, that uh, you push it halfway and it puts water in and then you put it the other way. I had the water off because I'm getting ready to put in the sink. But uh, I've got the new toilet in. It's got one of those slow close um, uh, lids and it just slowly closes. It doesn't slam in the middle of the night. But uh, here's my old sink. It was really getting bad. I ain't got a whole lot of room in here. So I'm doing the best I can. This is a very small bathroom in this RV. But uh, this was the old sink. And I got the new sink right here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. And I'm gonna install it today. And uh, it weighs about two pounds, 2.8 pounds I think. This is the exact measurement. Let me get this box out of here so I've got some room. Oh. Okay. The hardest part of this whole job is the space. You have no space, man. I mean, I have to... To get the sink out, I had to curl up in the fetal position to get in here to get it out. I got towels in here to keep the water getting all over everything but this is the new sink the only thing it come with is the new locking tabs that go underneath so I I have the old locking tabs with the original screws because it didn't come with no screws so I'm going to use the old screws and uh, get the sink in there. Now what I'm going to do, let me uh, see if I can get this camera steady. Like I said, there's just no room in here, man, to do anything. That's why I didn't even try to do the toilet with the with the camera. But uh, anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my faucet in here first and tighten it down. That way I don't have to do it underneath the sink. And then all I have to do is hook up my water, my hot and cold water. this under there. So I'll put my faucet in. And these are really long. And under there, man, I was reaching up. Man, my arms got tired. It takes time to get all these locking tabs set because you don't have any room to do it. I tried to do it with a cordless drill and there just wasn't no room so I had to use a regular long screwdriver. Okay, make sure those are good and tight. room to reach these from up here. Boy, if I can, it'd be a lot easier. But I don't 
think there is. No, the hoses just aren't long enough. So I'm gonna have to do it from underneath. You see that is a little crooked. <sighs> got to go underneath Put the new screws and the new tabs this is the hard part and you know what I need to put my uh, this needs to go down in there first I have new uh, putty on there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. This is the old one out of my old sink. I'm, I really need to get a new one. But, uh, got a hose in that. I mean, I'm ragging that pipe. But that goes just like that. sure it's good and tight so that putty seals so it doesn't leak this sink was about $39 I got it on uh, eBay and uh, plumber by any sense of the word down like this everything backwards Yeah, 
reach up here and get the water lines. I really been needing a sink because in my sink painting uh, video, it looked pretty, the old one looked pretty decent. And then, uh, but it was getting old and uh, I opened the medicine cabinet after traveling and a whole bottle of NyQuil fell and cracked it. And I put some uh, sealer on it and really looked bad then. So I uh, said, I, I gotta get a new sink. But it, it, it looked pretty nice after I painted it on that video. That video's got almost, I think, a couple thousand views. Because it did come out pretty nice compared to what it was. See what I mean about having your arms up here a long time? You're 25 and ain't no big deal. That's why I went ahead and did the faucet before I got in your hair. space man if you can get through this without cussing you're a good man it or not I don't think so when I turn on the water I'll find out okay. you know what I'm gonna turn on the water before I go any further and see if I get any leaks so give me a minute I just gotta turn on the water pump because I'm boondocking sure because those lines were a little damp before I started gotta do is button it down.
hopefully the old screws fit the, the new sink should through yeah I'm gonna have problems with these I'm just gonna use the old ones I know they fit there's nothing wrong with them say it's it's not that hard a job it's just you have no room in my RV anyway two ran on each side and then I gotta go up and line it up and let me get one more it's still moving around a lot cordless and it was just it was too long or it was too short with the long bit or too, sh too short with the short bit okay all right now I can go up and line it up before I put the rest in Easier now than you up against that brace. sink and new toilet my old toilet had that hand flush you know you had to reach down your face by the toilet bowl you know and, uh, and it was getting old so I uh, got a pedal one 
so much nicer. All right, it's it's all in. All I have to do now is cock it. It's in. It's all caulked, sealed, no leaks, ready to go. Got my new toilet, got my new sink. Next project is going to be a new skylight. Uh, it's getting all brittle and pieces are falling off of it. Just the inside part, the, the top's okay, but uh, got to do that. And uh, that'll be it. So, hope this helped out. Uh, like I said, the uh, the sink was uh, like 39 bucks on eBay. Uh, you can get one anywhere, Amazon, anywhere. They're, they're all the same. It's a 17 by 20, I think, uh, size. And if you have this tough style sink, and uh, if you got the room in your RV, it's the easy install. But if you got small space like I do, man, it can be a booger. <laughs>